Hi everybody, welcome back to Survival Sea Lab. I'm Odi Apparandus. On today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at fish tanks from the Mariculture mod and getting those set up in our new aquarium in the Shed Aquarium Replica. So let's get going. All right, so as I mentioned today, we're going to be working on the Shed Aquarium some more and building some actual fish tanks for Mariculture in here. I built this one in the middle here, and this isn't really designed to be one of the fish tanks I'm going to use. This is mostly just decoration. And the squids, they love the coral inside of there. For some reason, they can't get away from the coral. I don't know if the... I did source blocks inside of each one of these blocks here, so I don't know why they're stuck at the bottom, but they're just going crazy for uh, this coral down here. It's like it's like catnip for squids, possibly squidnip. I don't know. Uh, the other thing I noticed is that I made this little concrete here, but I sink into the concrete when I walk past it. You can see it a little bit. So I'm on the in the concrete right now, and I pop up a little bit when I step out of it. It's not noticeable. I can run straight across it without losing my gait, but it's just a little odd that we sink. It's almost be like wet concrete here. I might as well switch that out for the darker version, which might be the solid concrete. I don't know. Um, it's a little bit weird. I just noticed it as I was beginning recording here. So anyways, we set up these two fish tanks over the left and right here, but these are not actually qualified fish tanks for the Mariculture mod. If we want to put fish breeders in here, fishing uh, tanks in here, um, we need to, the fish feeders are what they're called, that's what I'm thinking of. Uh, we need to actually make these different shapes. So uh, I'm going to take these out. We're going to have to take out the, the, the uh, water out of there for now, I think. So let's just grab some gravel and plunk it down on top of it to remove the water. I don't want to waste using my... Uh, my sponges, I do have a couple on me, but I'm not going to worry about that. And let's dig this out, and we'll actually make this into a fish tank for, for the Mariculture mod specifically. Uh, so let's, uh, oops, I need to open my thing here quick. I'm freaking out here. Uh, okay, and then we can fly. There we go. For some reason, every time I go into the game, I lose the, pow the power of flight. And oh, my hat's not on, there we go. All right, now we should be able to fly. Oh, look at that, perfect. All right, so let's get rid of this here. Get our ruby axe out and remove these steps out of the way. I never really made a good axe, like a hatchet. I always have that lumber axe, which does like a tremendous amount of like lumbering quickly, but I'm not good for precision work like this. So I'm just using the, uh, I believe this is Project Red. Yeah, Project Red. Ruby pickaxes, which are pretty cheap to make because we get so many rubies with nothing to do with them. Um, so that's not too bad. I'm gonna take this level out too here because maybe we want to do the, hmm, how can we work this? Uh, we'll gravel on the bottom. Hmm. All right. So we need to base. What is going on here? A hidden block somewhere. Somewhere is messing with me. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Maybe it's this gra this concrete block in there that's causing the problem. Nope. Something. Something's invisible here. Something's glitched. I don't know what that's about. I'm getting a lot of weird things like that. It could be so many chisel blocks that I'm causing it because I do notice that happens with chisel quite a bit. Um, where you'll get little like invisible blocks sometimes. But uh, it'll probably show back up if I walk away and come back. It'll probably show whatever whatever I'm gonna hook up on there. Probably will, probably will show up. Anyways, uh, let's put in a new fish tank. Now I just told took out all of that wood out of here. Maybe I should put it back though. Let's put on some wood. Let's put a wood base to work on here, uh, down here at the bottom. I think just to fill in these gaps and such. And I need a little bit more wood. Four is not gonna do it. Oh, see like this like right that right there. So there was obviously some sand there that was invisible to us. Uh, and that was the big issue. So, uh, I'll throw a couple gravel in here to fill up the rest. Alright, cool. So, for fishing tanks, there's actually three different kinds of fishing tanks, and they need to be a certain size. So, that size, I'm going to be using these factory blocks and a special texture I, I uh, chose for this. Um, it needs to be, for the small, for the basic fishing tanks, it needs to be a shape like this. And it says on the wiki, that you have to have air blocks on the corners. You can't have anything on those corners, so it needs to look exactly like this. Now you can make it as tall as you want, uh, which is why I think maybe we should make it go down one. Um, and so the fishing, the fish, the fish feeder will be at the very bottom here. So maybe that's why I want to get rid of that that's, that stone down there. Uh, so we'll actually pull away. We'll have to have an open block here. Is the only issue I see with that though, um, which is the big big drawback. So. That's that's why I didn't want to make it go down. So maybe we'll have it too high and we'll have like a ladder going up the side of it so we can look into it. Um, yeah, that's, I guess that's what we'll have to do. So what we'll do is fill in this bottom with some gravel and that'll be a good base to work with here. And we'll want it too high because we want the fish feeder to be covered for sure. So we'll make it a second level here. I might need more of this factory block. I went with this texture because it's very metallic. Um, I think we can put glass though here. That might look kind of cool. So let's try that. Uh, let's put glass right here. 
I don't think it cares if it's glass or not. Um, so we'll have to go grab some glass here. We'll put glass right there, and then we'll fill the bottom with water, and we'll make a fish feeder. I might have one made already. Uh, and then we'll uh, build a second. This is these are the basic ones. So we'll build a second one over here. Um, I think that'll be kind of cool. Good. Uh, we'll need to make the second one a little bit bigger because it's going to be an intermediate um, fish tank. So let's go grab some glass here. It should be over here. And I think I have a fish tank. I made my path here already. It's not quite right. There's some sand that's out of place right there, but not too bad. Uh, I'm not sure if I really like I did the Tinker's Construct clear glass. I'm not sure if I'm in love with it. It looks kind of weird. But uh, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not quite sure about that one. So let's grab some more clear glass, though. That'll look good for our fish tanks, at least. You want to be able to, you want, don't want glass getting in the way of your fish. You want to be able to see them nicely. Like the clear glass on here, I think looks really good. Uh, so we put, we put glass here, and I don't know if this is going to work exactly because there's certain aspects of the Tinker's Construct glass that might not register with Mariculture. So if the fish tank doesn't work, we'll replace this glass, we'll replace these blocks with something from vanilla Minecraft instead, uh, just to make sure there's no glitches or anything like that. So let's go grab that fish feeder. I have no idea where I would have put that, though. Uh, let's go take a look quick. It should be over here someplace in my, uh, my random stuff chest. If I grabbed it at all, I might still be back at the old house. In which case, we'll just make a new one. Okay, let's just make a new one here. Uh, can't be that bad. Um, so I made some more factory blocks for this building here, but let's make some fish feeders. Fish feeder, and that is just wicker with a chest and some raw fish. So if we make wicker, that's like that. We can cook that up for nicely. We need six of those. Oh, we don't have any sticks. Okay, so let's let's make another stack of sticks then. There we go. I mean, we want probably just maybe just th maybe four fish feeders. I don't know how many we're gonna want over here. We'll want a bunch of fish tanks. I mean, it's supposed to be an aquarium. We'll want a bunch of fish tanks so we can do a lot of fish breeding. Uh, so let's make these up. I got, we need six for each one. That's one, let's make all of it, 16. So that's uh, not even quite, let's see, we need to, that's six would be 12, and then 32 would be three. So let's make 32, no, 30, I'm not even doing math right here. 18 is what I'm looking for, that's the number I'm looking for. So we need more sticks again. Let's just cook up 64 sticks here, and we'll make another one of these, more wicker. We might not have enough raw fish. If that's the case, we'll have to wait on making this, I think, but we, we might have some cod in here or something. And we have four here, and it's all... Oh, these are alive, though. So we need to have raw cod is the problem. Uh, so we might have to do some fishing before we can make, make the fish feeders. Um, let's just take a look and see if we have any fish. Fish, any raw fish. Raw damselfish. Okay, we can use any kind of fish in here. And we need a chest. Is there any raw cod? Minnows will work. Raw minnows? Nope. Cod? Nope. I don't think the regular vanilla fish will work either. So, but we have enough for one fish feeder, at least. And um, we go chest. Let's see, chest. We have four of those, and we'll take the wicker we just made, and we'll get the means to make a new one very soon here. Do I have a fishing rod anywhere, I wonder, from the uh, the old Mariculture mod? Uh, I probably broke it before we used it last. So let's make another fishing rod here. The only one we can make right now is, uh, I think we could make the, the reed fishing rod. I don't think we have any means to make the wooden one even. The wooden one requires polished sticks. We don't have quite that much yet. Uh, so we will make this reed fishing rod. We should have the means for that. And we'll need some bait, which bait we can make with the, um, sieve, I believe, is what we need, right? Or sifter. There we go. I have one in here. That'll, that'll save some spots in my, uh, ME network here. And we'll need some dirt, I believe, to sift the dirt. All right. We got, uh, 25,000 dirt. That's pretty good. Um, is there anything else we might need? Is there bait? Yeah, we have already have some bait in here. Cool. So let's grab all that bait out. That doesn't need to be in here at all. Let's just take that over to the uh, old area there. And let's grab a chest if we can find one. I bet you I have a chest taking up spots in here right now. Let's just see what we have for chests. Oh, God. Can't spell. All right. So we have four iron chests. Let's grab all those out. Let's grab the gold chest. We'll take those with us. Because this part is not going to necessarily need to be connected to our ME network. Um, we can leave the fish and stuff over here. It's going to take up too many slots inside of my ME network because they all have special uh, values to them. Um, so we'll make a couple of chests here for different things. Let's put them out here. This will be a good spot for stuff. Oops, ran too right off the edge there. Let's put one right here. Put one right here. So we'll put bait and stuff inside of those. And I'll just throw the other, ch other chest inside of that for right now. Okay, so let's... What, what, what bait can we use with this? Ant bait. And we have some right there. So we'll do some catching here and we'll get some fish going. But let's just see if this fish feeder is going to work first of all. So let's lay it down inside of our tank. Oh, we need to fill it with water first, of course. Uh, so let's grab out our... This is something I made off camera a few episodes ago. The Emperor's Chalice is a Xeno's Reliquary item. 
Um, it's not that expensive to make, from what I remember. Come on, where's the recipe for it? You can't ch check the recipe on it. Let's just pull this. Let's let's go this way. Emperor's chalice, chalice, emperor's chalice, emperor's, emperor's. Come on, why can't I? Emperor's. Oh wow, can't spell at all. Emperor's chalice. There it is. So the the uh, the recipe for this is gold, some gas tears. This was the biggest thing to get. I only had two gas tears. I had to go back to the Nether and find those. Emeralds and gold, no problem though. Uh, and what this can do is once you fill it with water, it will supply an infinite amount of water. So it's like an infinite bucket, basically. And it's great. This is what I used for the uh, the big area over there. It was very nice for filling this whole thing up. Um, so yeah, it goes very, very quickly, as you can see. Uh, that's why I really like that one. I needed to make that. It's one of our most crucial items for building here. And now that we have this, let's see. Let's see, missing mate, missing food, missing female fish. Okay, so it looks like it's not saying missing tank, at least. So this seems like it'll work. Now this seemed to work in the other one as well, so I'm not sure, but uh, let's build the intermediate tank over here. Let's actually do some fishing first. We need some live fish in order to do this. So let's go over here and we'll grab back our reed fishing rod and see what we can catch in our new fishing hole here we made. So when we're standing in it, we should be able to catch some live fish. There's a chance that it'll be raw too. Um, what have we got? We got a stingray already? Oh my god, that's awesome. So we're gonna do all kinds of fish breeding. We're gonna intermingle the fish with all different kinds of breeds and we're gonna catch with catch different kinds of stuff. Okay, so we got the Ableton fish. I need a couple raw ones though, so I'm gonna hop back out of the water. And this will increase our chances of finding raw ones, I think. Come on, you. Fish it. Come on. Oh, there we go. We got a raw squid. Okay, one more of those. We can make another fish tank. I guess they don't need to be identical either. We could get anything here. I'll take anything. You can see I put a couple kelp in there. Oh, there we go. We got a iron wheel. All right. Well, we're not doing anything with those those turbines because I really don't know how to get them to work anymore in this mod version. Uh, it seems li lily pad. All right, so there's all kinds of crap in this pool we just made. There's all kinds of stuff. I stocked the pond. We should have all kinds of stuff. I stocked the pond with water wheels um, and that kind of thing. But as I was saying, I can't seem to get the turbines to work anymore in this version of uh, Monster. Um, I really wanted to make an updated video because I did a little bit on it way back when, but it no longer works. There was an update and nothing that old setup I have back at the old house does not work anymore. So I'd love to update that if I can and get the correct information out there, but I can't seem to figure it out. So I've contacted the mod creator and I'll see if he has any insight on it. He hasn't gotten back to me yet, but we'll see what he says. And if that's the case, I'll work on those, those uh, that again and see if we can. Oh, we got two live ones and it's a female and two females. It looks like or two males, two of the same either way. Um, we're doing pretty good though here. Oh, wow. That was a fast one. Uh, raw stingray. Okay, so we can make ourselves another fish tank now. And we should be able to do that. Oh, there's salt in here. Okay. Um, let's not worry about that. Let's see. Uses for wicker. Uh, storage upgrades. Item filters. Fish feeder. That's what we want. And get the dirt out of there. Now we can do it again. And let's see. Uses. And let's go. There it is. There's the one. Oh, come on. It's not. It's, I don't think it's going because we don't have the specific things it's looking for. Um, but we should be able to do it like this. Oh, you know what we don't have is a, another another uh chest we need to go grab a couple more chests or grab some wood from someplace um yeah i, don't, I can't steal any of those i need i need to keep those there so we'll go make another chest i made myself another set of drives here because our thing was starting to get filled up uh but it wasn't that big a deal let's just make oh let's make uh, a few more chests here like three more all right let's head back and let's see what we can find here i should probably dump off these fish and stuff that's filling up a pack um we can also make a fishing backpack i think that's, that's specifically for Mariculture stuff. Uh, so another fish feeder. And we'll go make our second fish area here. Let's grab another chest out. Did I leave them in here? I did. All right, so let's grab... Oh, those iron chests are over here, actually. We can use one of those gold ones for our, for our fish, or for our catchings that we find. Uh, so let's grab these out. And we'll put uh, we'll put bait over here. In a, in a chest let's put it like right here and in the water and then we have our nice live well for for bait for instance um and we'll throw all that in there and that should be pretty good then we'll need to uh take apart this old tank and set up a new one um let's put them if we, do we get a male and a female of anything we can just start them breeding let's just try this uh we need some bread i think to make some fish food but we can go like this and like this and unsuitable environment. One of your fish is not happy. So, unsuitable environment. Hover over the indicator to see if 
see the issue. Missing fish food. I don't know what the problem is. They don't like our environment, our small tiny fish tank. Not quite sure what they're looking for here. So let's go get some fish food. And we'll see. Okay, so let's go back to get some bread. Because I believe fish food's made from bread. Or we actually we can make it from raw fish, I think. Let's just take a look here quick. Fish food. And fish fingers, not what we're looking for. Fish fingers and custard. Hmm. Fish food drum. I think we can do uses on fi raw fish. Fish who? No, we want uses on raw fish. And what is that? Walrus? No, we want that. Hop Jeez. All right. This this is our next goal here then. We're making an extra cells walrus. Um, fish food is just uh, fish in a, a crafting like this. Are other recipes for this? Any other recipes for this? Nope, just fish, fish food. I think that should work though. So let's um, let's go up into here and grab some raw fish. We have three. Okay, we'll need to get a bunch more of those if we want to make a walrus. I mean, that's that's fantastic. Uh, I will have a walrus very soon. I think that's that's a, that's the thing I can get behind. Um, let's go. Okay, so we just put the fish in the crafting table, and it should make a raw meal. And then we go over here and drop it into here, and this should work. There we go. And everybody's happy now. They're breeding. We're going to crossbreed a stingray and a damselfish to make a new thing. Now, uh, we will need to let them go. They're going to produce eggs slowly. And once they both die, we'll have produced a bunch of eggs, and we can put them in an incubator probably next episode. Um, so let's set, build a second tank over here, because there's a certain, certain fish we make are going to need a bigger tank as well. So we need to build one that's going to be a little bit bigger. Same kind of principle, though. Or we want another basic tank over here. Now, there's, there's a couple options. I could build it over here, or I can build it over here. This is not a lot of room here. So let's see if we can make a an intermediate tank fit here. Let's try that first. Uh, if we can make that fit, that'll solve our problems, I think. Let's get all this water out of here, and then we'll dig it back out. Alright, and then we'll get our trusty axe back out, our ruby axe, and take this back out. So, the intermediate fish tank just needs to be a little bit bigger, but there's very specific designs. Now, I didn't know about this when we were doing fish tanks the first time around, um, when I was just trying to get a couple water droplets for our uh, Mariculture uh, mechanized sponge. Do I need to take this out? I don't know if I do. Let's just leave it. Um, so I didn't actually make a fish tank, I just used dirt. It's, it's, it, it said on the wiki that that won't work though, but somehow it did for us. So either the wiki's out of date or what I found was a glitch. So we'll see what happens there. I don't know which is the case, but uh, so an intermediate tank just requires the edges to be on it, I believe. So we have to make it a little bit wider like this. And this is the intermediate tank. Now, this is why I was thinking we should maybe take out our nice squid tank here because the large size tank is very big. It's actually bigger than this one then. Uh, and this is a very big tank already. This is this tank right here is the size of this tank here, I believe. Yep, same pattern. So this is the same size. Um, so we could try moving, taking this out and putting in a large one maybe. Uh, it's not gonna fit our aesthetics or we can try to build it someplace else. Now the only, like I said, the only spots really have available are down here, which is not a very large spot, but I could take some of these stairs out and maybe fit it in there. Or uh, we could try it over there, or I could build it someplace in our ocean, maybe. Um, I don't know, but I really don't want to get rid of this thing, because I do like it. Uh, I want to do more with this area. But then again, we don't have to go for this, the old Shed Aquarium look. We can make it more functional than that. So we'll see. I don't make, need to build an advanced tank until we actually need it, probably. But it, basically, the advanced tank, the only difference is you'll add a second block. So it goes it goes three across, and then one straight, and then it'll go a second one straight, I think. And it might be five across, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, let me double check that quick. Uh, my notes say it is five across actually, so yeah, it's gonna be quite bigger than this thing uh, So we, if we want to put it in this room, we're definitely gonna take out our little structure here, even though it is very cool uh, It's too bad So let's build a second layer onto our fish tank here, and this should be the right thing to do Let's go one two three one one, two, three, one. And we'll put the glass on the front just like we did the other one We can put glass on the sides here too. It might be a good idea but uh, we don't have quite enough glass, I think, for that yet. Um, and we'll lay down some gravel. And we'll take out this this uh, marble out of here. And uh, use it elsewhere. We can always use more marble. 
It's one of the nice things about having the quarry is that I, I had enough stuff to actually make this without going mining for anything. That was pretty great that I was able to build, build this whole building for the first time ever. Normally in the middle of a building, I have to go find more stuff and it's really detrimental to the building process, but having the quarry is fantastic. Um, there's a couple more things that we can really get to make our building even easier, but uh, they're not going to be happening in this episode. It's going to be a while before we can get that kind of thing, or maybe we can get lucky by finding them, but uh, I'm really looking for like a builder's wand. Um, that's uh, made, I think it's a random things. But uh, it takes a long time to get that. You have to kill a wither, or you need to get lucky and find a good ch a good drop inside of a chest. But those are the only two options. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's it's not it's not on the docket just yet. Even though we probably are powerful enough to take on the wither, it's a matter of farming enough wither skeleton skulls to uh, summon it. And we could probably take him though if we if we faced him. We'd have to tool up a little bit, maybe get some projectile weapons. But aside from that, we'd be pretty good. So our second tank is ready to go here, and we got the fish tank made. Did I not? Did I not make it? Where did it go? Where would I have put it? I have six, only six left. I must have made it. Did it despawn? Did I throw it in a chest someplace? I wonder what happened to it. Hmm. It is a mystery. Oh, here it is. Fish feeder. Perfect. Okay, so let's put the fish feeder inside this fish tank, and that should make it a designated intermediate tank then. And I don't know if there's a benefit to doing bigger tanks always, uh, there might be. So a stingray, we have a male stingray, and we need one more female fish. And we can start something breeding over here too. So let's give that a shot. Uh, I don't think it matters. You can use smaller smaller tanks or bigger tanks until you get to a fish that require it. Uh, I don't quite know which ones are which yet. We'll experiment and find out. Uh, I need to put the bait right next to the fishing rod here. And we'll go fishing for another live fish here. Oh, I heard a skeleton. Oh, here we go. We got a cod. And it is another female cod. Let's hold on a second here and get a male. I think that's what we have right now. Shouldn't take too long though. There we go. We got a die. That's not great. Where are these skeletons coming from? I'd love to know. I have my chandelier set up. Hopefully stop spawns, but there is a lot of empty spaces down in here. Uh, Cause the ground was not perfectly level. We got a raw cut. Oh, that's cause I was standing out of the water. Shoot. Uh, if you're standing in the water, your percentages are much better for fishing here. Um. Come on. Come on, you. You can do it. Really? That's how we're going to play this? Come on. Come on. All right. We'll give it up. We'll waste the bait. We'll have plenty of bait after this, and we can get some better bait once we get a better fishing rod, too. It'll just take some time. Uh, we'll basically need to catch a lot of fish and make some fish oil will be the next thing we need. And uh, we'll definitely do that inside of our, our aquarium here. I might I really have to take that. I think I have to pick the Caribbean Sea thing out of there. There we go. One more fish. And we got a... Let's see. Let's drop this out. And we got a female. Perfect. Okay. So let's put those two cod in here. We'll, we'll breed up another cod. You only really get different races by mixing and mashing. Matching. Oh, no. Actually, we can put it with a stingray here. And we'll make something really strange. Uh, all of these stingrays benefits none of its weaknesses. That's what I'm guessing. Uh, so if we put a rock cod in the table, will it make another fish food? It will. Awesome. Um, it gave us a little, I think it gave us more fish food there even. Uh, I think the, the Minecraft fish only gave us three. So that should work. Cool. And everyone's happy. Everyone's good. Let's go take a look and see how these are doing. Oh, I'm poisoned. What is going on? What's happening? What, what is going on? Why am I poisoned? Good lord. I'm gonna die. Oh my god, did we get poisoned by being, like, too close to the fishing area? That was really weird. Uh, let's eat something here. Wow, what, what was that? I am at a loss. I don't want to take the risk of getting poisoned here again, but, uh... You know what, maybe the stingrays- Oh, because we're going to a tank that has stingrays in it, we probably got stung by stingrays, and that's why we were poisoned. They took us out, so we, we have to be very, very careful breeding stingrays that we don't go in the water. Uh, because they will kill us. Oh, we're getting water droplets and spider eyes. Very cool, and they're out of fish food, so we did really good there. Um, we can make another cod for them, but we'll we'll catch some fish off camera, and uh, then we'll come back next episode and do more with our mariculture area. I might have to take out this fish tank, unfortunately, to build an advanced fish tank, because it needs to be very, very big. It's bigger than this one, even, and this is the same size as that right now, so we might have to pull that one out if we want to have a larger fish tank here, uh, which will be unfortunate. But maybe we can get two large fish tanks in here and just go off of those. That'd be really nice. But uh, yeah, that'll be next episode. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this another episode of Survival Sea Lab. I will be back for another episode very soon. Uh, let me know if you're enjoying it, and I'll see you back next time for more. Have a good night.